much to visit for the past few years. And right to know, think about the things that happened for this last few years, the last 10 to 20 years in this particular issue. Uh, this particular issue topic is very much central to this issue of Dutron. Because we look at uh, the conferences from 2002 and onwards. Almost every year you find a session which talks about the church, the government of the church. Um, <coughs> it's a lot of context of government governance, but then the church has always been very much more interested of the Indian uh, I joined this Indian government program in 2005. And, uh, I came from the English engineering background. And uh, when I came in and heard about other teachers, it was very strange to try to uh, think about balance as uh, receiving order uh, instead of providing order. It was very strange to me and uh, I just went with one of my friends over to Sarasht uh, Rajput and Fitness. And he was talking to people. Uh, people started relating their experience to their teachers, to our teachers, as uh, it is even part of the uh, we are lucky to have Kenji Bali here, uh, who has been very much part of the research movement, and then various other uh, leaders who motivated me for the uh, research. Uh, what is it that we are talking about? Basically, uh, when we research, uh, when we talk about when we research, it's about using a uh, when, uh, not just for accessing water, but also for uh, growing water into non water that is well. Uh, so there are additional ways which reason many constituents is actually to extract uh, water. But there is a very different way of utilizing uh, the same uh, space uh, in terms of access for providing water into the It's a very different change in thinking, which is probably uh, a thinking of the past 20, 25 years uh, in different parts of uh, India and uh, most of the So it's basically trying to have an outlet, inlet, uh, into the into the air by some sort of filtration or in many cases even direct water runoff coming from the uh, rainfall is led into the uh, air. Uh, to look at it in terms of a conceptual, in terms of a larger picture, maybe it's not really closer. Okay, this is something like rainfall catchment where the water is going. It can also be a farmer's field where the water is, uh, where rainfall is being connected. It passes over all the surface as a lot. And then uh, there might be a filtration structure to it, but in some cases there might not be a filtration structure. Sometimes there is an underground structure with pebbles and uh, rocks and sand which tries to filter out and filter out and then it will And finally, this water enters into the lesser assumption in the end where the beach are responsible. This is also the most important factor in the kind of amount you get and the sea flow you get because when the sea can get the uh, it also depends on how well it can be It also depends on you know, whether it's well it can be because not all wells can be from the centers uh, of each other. It depends on the success of this kind of uh, thinking depends on a variety of factors. Uh, uh, very briefly, I am going to some key people who are important uh, to talk about. Uh, I have not met some of these people, I have some of these people, I have not met this lot of work with some of these people. Uh, here, is a person who led a uh, sort of spiritual movement uh, called the Swadhyay, uh, that is Parvul, uh, Parvul Shastri, uh, who led a spiritual movement to the ethics of the environmental ethics, part of which was also trying to capture rainwater and provide water into the Swadhyay Pariva was very really instrumental in the late 80s, early 90s, uh, in terms of uh, thinking on water conservation in which I was Then we have Shamji and Antara who pioneered the well which are movement specifically uh, along with the and this movement. Shamji and was also a journalist who wrote a lot about well which are travelled across Sarashtra uh, motivated people and at least for a period of 3 or 4 years in the mid 90s there so were few black wells in Sarashtra uh, which were research. The movement somewhat dwindled uh, uh, after that, the people took more on to check dams as a way of as ships and check dams as a way of uh, capturing the uh, water. So that means, you know, all of us have heard of, in, in, in the these rural areas, but in terms of other areas, we have heard of, all of us have heard of Chennai uh, city, where uh, late 90s and most 2000, maybe, uh, a lot 
have to have a set of builders. Uh, and it's a person who was a builder who related to me how you know, the thinking in Chennai took place early 2000s and for three or four years. Ramu was a kid and it became mandatory to have well reached to the nature structures for everybody. This is not so prominent today. The problem is not what we have. It has been worked for three or four years to early 2000s. There was research by Indy, this is early highlight in 2002, uh, which talked about the well recharge movement. And there was a lot of documentation by Indy about this well recharge movement. And people started noticing it, but other people got into it. Today's government started causing it. And finally, in 2006 2007, uh, the national program on urban recharge was announced. Uh, in this national program, uh, the idea was to uh, take this concept of well recharge. Across the country, mainly in the areas which have a hard work, like this plan was a but also in the other areas. And now there are small efforts also to be uh, in a uh, wide different NGOs across the country to try to work with the research. Uh, outside of India, in uh, many countries, there have been experiences of the uh, future. Uh, one famous uh, example I need for the long period is uh, in Los Angeles, California in Los Angeles. The problem there was a sudden water pollution. And what they did was have a series of recharge wells close to the coast to prevent to a little bit extent the inclusion of uh, seawater. And this has been going on, I think, for, I don't know, for since early last century. Uh, this sort of thing is a very recharge wells. Well. Basic kind of recharging has been going on in many places uh, for a long time. But well recharging, in terms of using the well for you know, pressure, sending pressurized water into a river, has happened in very few places. Uh, so, California is uh, western, western is one example. But other than the largest scale, to my knowledge, has happened only in India, in South Africa, Chennai, and some other places. There are debates uh, on, on well recharging, and the debates are still going on. The question about uh, especially in other areas, if water suddenly comes up to the surface in a few days, water to The question is, where is the space in the well to actually church? Uh, if you take it uh, after a school, there are certain zones which are most suitable for recharge. There are certain zones which are most suitable for discharge. Usually, our wells are located in the discharge zones. <coughs> if you use these wells for recharge, they might not actually optimally end up uh, recharge. So, there will be various such issues. The issue of water quality, getting into the well and uh, the clogging of roads, there are many such uh, applications. Uh, and therefore, we have a lot of debates. They run off of the fields, especially the first run off of the fields. It has a lot of accumulated chemicals in pesticides and fertilizers which are applied over the year. And if this gets into directly into the well water, this is used also for digging by many people. And then there is a question of you know, how, uh, how can we use it for the energy. So many such uh, kind of uh, debates have been going on in scientific circles, but as we pointed out, uh, this movement was not based on scientific This movement in uh, Sarashtra was based more as a mass response to the draw situation of late 80s, a three four year draw situation, and ideas such as this uh, by the time. So I come to the program and I will just specifically now spend the next 10 minutes talking about the experiences from this program and what can be learned from uh, the experiences of this program. So this program was announced uh, as mainly a subsidized effort. Uh, in terms of constructing recharge structures close to our government, the uh, estimated cost of constructing the recharge structure was close to 4,000, and uh, there was an amount of 4,200 or 2,200 to be able to smaller and large number for constructing these recharge structures. The uh, central water board was mainly coordinating this program. The structure was to be constructed by the founder, and there was a total outlay of close to uh, this number is important in terms of uh, outlay. The reason being that take the overall irrigation with the amount spent in the country as a budget for irrigation as a whole. This is probably nothing in terms of you know, uh, money being spent. But if you look at the programs for groundwater which have happened in the country, it's hard to come with you uh, on this, uh, such, a, such an investment that you made. In that sense, taking it at close for a period of even three years, over a single budget plan is significant. And that's why it's important to understand you know, what happened, what, what, what it was going to The target was that there are 4 million wells spread across 10 states of the country which have a lot of benefits. And amongst 
same areas which are more highly affected with uh, groundwater, water exploitation and water So these are the places, these are the particular blocks, particular blocks which need to be done. There are two simple models, this is what we had suggested for farmers to do. One was a model in which uh, a proper filtration structure is constructed in terms of having layers of uh, gradient, state and so on. And the other was very simple in which what is the source is. So it comes into one chamber, sorry, it comes into one chamber and then uh, what is the source is in the other chamber. So the idea is that uh, when, when there is not happening, so it gets sedimentary. And what will the source is This was a basic idea of trying to communicate this idea with farmers and uh, motivating them to the my global subsidy to try to use the evidence as a research. These are these are uh, pictures of uh, I don't want to go into detail in this, but just uh, just pointing just putting it across. The main point we noted was that uh, this 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 was carried out in the various states of the country. Uh, each state has, a, has a, a had an implementation. For example, in Tamil Nadu, the agency which was responsible for us, Tamil Nadu. Uh, PWD, Polygos Department, Wrong Water Nation. In Gujarat, it was initially the DRP, and then later on it was an uh, agency called Gujarat State Watershed Management Agency, which is in Tamil Nadu. So there were different agencies across the country uh, which were responsible. So, Nabar was mainly responsible for the subsidy transfer and for the efficient subsidy transfer part to bank accounts of the So, what we noted is that this was in 2006 and uh, maybe a little bit after NRAGS was announced. Uh, one of the few programs in which money was, uh, you, know, you were thinking about transferring money directly into bank accounts of uh, rural citizens. Uh, Even today, we are thinking about direct uh, subsidy transfer, and it's a, it's a tough thing to happen. So this, this, this idea was that way, this program was actually a little ahead of thinking that we were going to do direct subsidy transfer to farmers. The 2100 and 2200. When this program was launched, uh, I think uh, I was quite uh, involved in the proposal. The uh, proposal was a very short concept of, of talking about where we join the experiences and there were various documented studies from the to support this. Uh, I was very much interested about the idea from the beginning, you know, where we are as a whole, you know, uh, both sides of it, you know, whether it can happen or uh, not the past moment in the day. So, we commented our studies over the years, 2007, 2010, till year over the last, 2010. The three sets of studies that students should part in And uh, we studied all the different states at the school and So, these are the basic backgrounds we had what I need to talk about. Uh, I think so the presentation is started. In terms of uh, some of the more impressionistic thoughts uh, over the last three years of what we feel happened in this program and maybe things that we can uh, uh, these are some numbers which uh, which you know which, which were reported from different states in the country. You can say that there's just two states, Gujarat and Tamil Nadu. Uh, in just two of the states, the program actually started uh, in the sense that uh, in other states, for example, MP Madhya Pradesh, the program never really took off. In Andhra Pradesh, there was always, as it is, a debate about which department to take it, whether it's Panchayat or Kodera. And uh, Rajasthan, again, similar kind of thing. In Maharashtra, again, it took off. The program took off. So I didn't want to transition to But then Gujarat and Tamil Nadu, I guess, were going to some extent, it went ahead to a little bit extent. Tamil Nadu initially, uh, and then uh, Gujarat also. Almost for three years, the program was actually happening. Uh, there were a few thousand structures, you know, we have a target of 4 million, but there were a few thousand structures uh, which were actually constructed by farmers. I'll, I'll show you some of the pictures. And some farmers are actually used. Uh, you know, I visited, I spoke with farmers, there were even farmers close to you know, here, rather than Kedar, but I spoke with farmers. They were very much, you know, they, they got an idea into their mind about it. They were using it for many different things. Even if we get it over and it's the idea for me that went. But yeah, looking at uh, you know, the larger thought and the larger target of the program, you can see that the program failed to achieve to such a large extent. And uh, finally, I would say that uh, yeah, these are some of the numbers, but I think the numbers don't mean much in the sense that 
SEOs and other guys, there are people like that, what's UID, it's different, different today. But then it's difficult to see it for them. But now that I was in position for them, it was very difficult to handle this program. Many of the farmers are looking at whether they are well or not, land is not. This was difficult. I think one good thing which happened was a very good database of wealth uh, across Tamil Nadu was done. I guess it was And I know that that's a good job which came out of it. But that's not the purpose of this group. Uh, they had to do it on this group, right? That was not it. So this was another difficult, difficult thing. Another thing was the monetary aspect. You know, okay, the money is transferred. Who goes and checks you know, what happens? Uh, in Gujarat, you know, the ground zero is to do it. Who handles around the entire business or so? So they tell them once, uh, once, uh, once in the middle, middle of the group that they said, please take this digital camera. So it's all about the structure and come back. So you had to go. So speed just for it up and take it back. So it's after a point, it's going to be getting difficult for them. And there was also the impression that it's because of movies or photos and which has got into the back of our mind. So some kind of attention to the media, just like television sets and it's moving into that. The impression about this was really good. It comes, I think, very strongly to the next point. This has a communication aspect. Probably in this program, the main point was about communicating. Communicating not only to people but also institutions who are uh, responsible for this. But uh, apart from any newspaper ads or workshops or you know, meetings at district uh, uh, colleges, there was no way to communicate across the people. Uh, maybe I think that was a good uh, All the things which I said before, maybe could have been avoided. Just good communication aspect. Very easy to take to say for me. I feel maybe not inspiring uh, technical issues, I know, so, uh, which I think we should not uh, over thinking about. So that we don't repeat uh, the same ideas in you know. I think that will make up this whole uh, uh, when, when it happens, you know, if you take Savashtra as a whole, there are three like wells in church, Savashtra, or say two like wells, and if you do 50,000 of them, a suitable for the church, and if all of them end up doing it, he can try. And maybe in the last moment, it's fine to go ahead. But in a targeted program where you know, you're actually looking for efforts, you're looking for uh, results out of, uh, out of the effort, you have to look at uh, the basic issues and then any such thing. There are analytic limits to doing well in each other. It cannot happen anywhere in Africa. There are each other areas, there are each other areas. There is also an issue that, you know, especially in areas like such, but areas like three days in Africa. What if it just rises to the surface after a few days? So where do we reach out? These are the important questions. For some of us, it was very practical to say about position or location of the farm. A lot of where is another uh, top part of the farm, so that why they easily come across to the bottom of the farm. But uh, in order to do research, especially from your farm, you are going to be in the bottom part. So, what do you, how do you take on this bottom? How do you expect this spend in terms of underfront pricing? Which people will take more to? This was one point which we were talking about. I didn't want to pay attention to the first one, but why do you get surface water directly into drinking water? In case it's also being used for the people. So, I was also heard that you know, the speed at which rain water comes in and enters the well, it will make the well unstable and maybe cave in. This was one idea. And then, last point I think is important is that maybe the idea of that so many levels ex ex existed was over the Not a well is a simple way we found. In order to make it useful for each other, we need to actually do certain amount of desegregation of there. So, that water actually each other. Otherwise, it just stays on the surface. It won't get it. So, I think that is the point, especially in Kira and Mr. Kira's mission. That's the problem. I'll talk to the last thing about this. We should not forget that the uh, basic aspect that Robert is a common good resource. Uh, you know, we're talking about a resource which can be accessed by everybody in the right uh, And if one person is taking part in research, it can be easily take the research water can be easily taken away by others. At least it's an impression which naturally a single person would have. This doesn't exist if there are maybe 20, 30 people coming together. But in this case, it's an individual action or a common good resource which has senior consumers. And there's always a question that, well, where is my reach out to you, my effort, my, my, uh, this maybe we don't have any solution because it was a mass move, everybody is going to. So you know that they are benefiting uh, from this. So think of as an individual and very possible only as a group. This, I won't go into detail, but this is impression that we got uh, from people when we were serving. People felt that, uh, that my, my reach out is going to people more, others more, than others benefiting. So this is a perception that we had uh, from farmers uh, in, in study, which is natural. Um, I don't know if you have I don't 
thing is it's also been, uh, even after this program, so we have national actual program over here, actual for management program. Uh, we also have CJ that do this national blueprint, blueprint for one more HR. None of these things actually talk about uh, one more HR. But, so, this is a very powerful national policies for one more We don't see that this coming from the same source, you know, it's a sense of fragmentation. So, there's no self difference between all these efforts. So, we, and then, with, uh, these are, you know, it's always going to be about the possibilities of the things that are over there. Uh, I don't like it in the first way, but I was doing it. Maybe you could have, you could have had a mix of people at the top. There are probably NGOs who are working on the ship. We thought they were really part of the community. We don't know what that would be. Maybe communication was the key. I was thinking about communication in the end. Maybe, you know, maybe that having some kind of incentives for each other, maybe on the volume of each other. There are always a few ways which can reach out to them. So we are trying to have benefits for them. I think just double each other won't happen. We are all doing different places. Maybe the broader idea of this is all from each other. Which farmers, driver parts, they are all done. So the broader idea is that individuals work on broader conservation and on each other. So that is the, that is going to be a rather set of options. And it's not just one thing. Maybe groups have to do it together instead of individuals. Because individuals will always be appearing. Why am I doing this? So if there are 10 people doing it together, at least I will come from it. Others are also going to be doing it. They need to be in the right mind. Nobody knew about what is going on. And nobody knew describing options. And that's what we normally do. What is the happening with the program? It's the information which was okay. After all, we have a new vision. We already have a national minor education school. And so, although the well data was estimated to not be another study, the extent of 30%, that's the difference. But there's a minor education scheme on the concrete for statistics. I mean, such data is available. And here, uh, just to add to that, we were just going to come in. Yeah, this is the last one. This is my last one. Uh, I think right, we should not be just talking about recharge in association. But it needs to be part of the larger government strategy in terms of larger government governance, demand management, and the energy therapy association. Please don't Just a comment and then finish up.